Starting us off, the Columbus community gathered today to mourn the tragic loss of a beloved father, husband, son, and friend, Amit Patel. News 3's Kenzie Beach joins us now with the details. Kenzie? Patel's three year old daughter reached out and cried for her father this morning as they laid him to rest. For years to come, her birthday will be a reminder of the day her father lost his life. On December 6th, around 9.30 a.m., Patel was making a routine trip on a Monday morning into Sonovis Bank to make a deposit, where he was robbed at gunpoint. Friends and family wish it wasn't true. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, very worse situation in the family, but uh, now we have to get, say a goodbye. We don't want to. I feel like he's just going to get up from the castle, but uh, I hope I'm, I'm living in dream and I'm watching the dream. Ahmed was loved and respected by so many, his funeral standing room only. Among those in attendance to pay their respects, Columbus Mayor Skip Henderson, Columbus Chief of Police Freddie Blackman, and Muskogee County Sheriff Greg Countryman. During the service, a close friend of the family said it's a tragedy that has brought the community together and thanked Columbus officials for their support, hard work, and dedication to the ongoing investigation. Mayor Skip Henderson told News 3 earlier this week, quote, Every law enforcement official in our community is absolutely committed to make a very quick arrest and make an example out of this. Put them away for the rest of their lives if we can, end quote. The family is asking the community to help fill the shoes that this man left behind. Patel was a man who worked day and night to make his dreams come true in the United States. As the sole provider for his family, including his elderly mother and mother-in-law, his wife is now left to take care of the entire family. Sakra? Yeah, thank you so much, Kenzie. And described as a kind, caring, and supportive man who wanted to help everyone, he was posthumously awarded their Certificate of Special Congressional Recognition by Congressman Sanford Bishop. The certificate recognizes outstanding achievement, service, and public distinction. A candlelight vigil will be held for Patel tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. at the Sinovis Bank where he was killed. Friends have set up a GoFundMe page to raise money for the victim's family. The link to that page will be listed on our website at WRBL.com.